What's up guys, Shane here Figure Deck 3D Printing, and today we're going to check out our goodie box from filaments.ca. Alright, so I don't know if this is connected, but a long time ago, like when I first stood up the channel, I reached out to a bunch of companies and said, hey, I'd like to test out some of your filament, I'm trying to get on my feet, etc, etc. Uh, Filament CA said they would keep me on the list and contact me later, but never did. Well, last week this random box showed up with a bunch of stuff in it, so let's see what they sent. All right, so right off the bat, we have a bunch of business cards, which are super duper thick business cards. That's interesting. And then we've got feedmefilament.ca, and it looks like a Slimer, and it's got the little Canadian logo. So obviously .ca means it's a Canadian company. Those you didn't figure that out. Uh, they have a great big bag with some silica in it, a desiccant pack. So I'm guessing this is for goodies inside to store. It's nice of them. And let's start with these pre-packaged samples here. All right, so the first one is Easy PC, 1.75 millimeters. It's transparent. The nozzle is 235 to 260. The build plate or base plate, as they call it, 90 to 100 C. So we'll have to see Easy PC, maybe some kind of PCTG, like from Ascentium or something like that. I'll have to go on their website and see the actual like, properties of this one. Uh, next we have TPU, and it's 1.75 millimeter, solid blue. Nozzle on this one is 220 to 240. The build plate 75 to 85 C. So that's a nice solid blue there. It's called solid blue. It's Good royal blue, we'll call it then. All right, here we have flame retardant ABS. That's interesting. And it's in natural color, which I've never actually had natural filament before. I've had clear and I've white. I haven't had natural, so this I would call this like a cream color. Uh, this says the nozzle is 200 to 230. And the base plate is 80 to 100 C. That's a really, down to 200 for ABS. I've never seen any print that low, but We'll see what happens with that one. And then we have filaments.ca purge filament. And it is three meters of it that they sent here. And it gives you some directions here. Set temperature to 175C, feed eight to 12 inches through, and then repeat step two above, increase the temperature five degrees approximately. So basically just to make sure that everything came out, this would be really good before you print with clear or white filament because those hold pigmentation very easily for whatever the last filament was. So we'll be able to try this out at some point. All right, next we just have a bag with some filament in it and this is APLA plus in black. Yeah, so I don't know how much it is. I don't know any of the info on it, so I'll go onto their website and see what the uh, stats it for this one, but uh, APLA plus is most likely just like a PLA plus, a little bit stronger, the combination of things. Uh, we'll have to see what it says on their site. And lastly in here, we have a roll of filament. So we have solid blue PLA, and it's 1.75 millimeter. The nozzles should be 190 to 230C, and the base plate should be 60 to 80C. Oh, solid red. <laughs> it's crap if I could read. It's solid red. I was like, wait, that's not blue. Yeah, so we've got a nice roll of solid red here. So what I think I'll do is for this video, I will print a few models out with the red and see how it does. Kind of like I do a regular PLA review video, or maybe I'll just do that one separate since that's a full roll. And uh, I mean, I'll do one for this video. And I will print something, probably my maker coin, in all of these filaments and see how they all turn out. So let's hit some time lapses. We'll come back and talk about how these turned out. All right, welcome back guys. So I got everything printed. I did not print with the PLA. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do a separate video just on the PLA. Since they sent me a whole roll, there's no reason to try and rush into this video. I wanted this one just to be about the samples they sent me, which is basically like a maker box. There were four samples they included, five if you include the purge filament. So we're gonna take a closer look and see how they all turned out. Well, the first one we're gonna look at here is the Fire Retardant EBS in natural color which surprisingly printed amazingly. This was right on glass with a bit of the purple glue stick 
really great. It's not really shiny. I mean, it is shiny, but because the filament is such a matte color, you can't really see any of the shine. Over support, it did absolutely fantastic. First layers were great. All the sidewalls, let's focus in there. Really, really nice. Super nice. I like that a lot. And then the top layers, everything filled in great. I got my extrusion multiplier, I think pretty good. I don't think it was over under extruded at all. I mean, some people might argue just a little tiny over, but that's just the way the top layer is done on Simplify 3D. There were a few color deals, like dots inside natural filament. I don't know if that is common or not, or maybe that was just dirt on the filament. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, the film itself, I can't really see any of those, like if it would be in, maybe that was just that piece that I got there. I'm not sure. But anyways, I printed this at 225 centigrade on my build plate, which was 80. And like I said, the glue stick, it held on just fine, no issues whatsoever, and this was printed on the FT5. All right, so next up here, we have their TPU in solid blue. As you can see, a little bit of stringing, fairly common with you know, flexible filaments. You really have to dial them in, and sadly, with a 30 gram sample, I couldn't really do a whole lot of dialing in. I kind of just had to go with what I thought would be good and see how it happens. This actually printed out fantastic, aside from a little bit of stringing. I can deal with a little bit of stringing, but overall, the print came out great. Sidewalls, super smooth. The printer did a great job printing with this. And the bottoms, well, the bottoms were the bottoms. You know, there's little issues here, right there, right there. Otherwise, it was great. This was printed on support, so I was easily able to pull it away. But again, there's just a little bit of stringing in here, which can easily be cleaned up without any problems at all. And of course, it's TPU, so it is flexible. It's not like super flexible, but I mean, I can compress that pretty good, and it goes right back to shape. I love flexible filament. Again, this is like awesome science going on right here. But this printed out great. I wish I had more of it to try out. And this was printed at 20 millimeters a second. They recommended on their website between 10 and 30. I just picked the middle with 20 with a Titan extruder. No issues whatsoever, no clogs, no nothing. It was just great. And just to show, this is how much filament is left over. They give you 30 grams. I have just over about a meter left here. With the ABS that seemed to be a little bit more, I probably have almost three meters left. And uh, let's look at the next one. All right, so this is Easy PC, which is transparent, and this is a polycarbonate, which I've never printed with before. So this was a great test. Again, it's just like the MakerBox for me. And you need to print this in an enclosure. So an enclosed printer, which I did just like the ABS, put the front panels on the FT5, no problems whatsoever, printed great. But, wow, wow, I totally did not purge enough of the blue, I printed the TPU before that. I did not purge enough of it, and some of it came off. <laughs> I didn't notice it till I was a couple layers in, and I was like, ah, don't worry about it. Oh well, I get the the basic, uh, you know, print anyways without a problem. But over the supports, actually came off amazingly well. I wish I could zoom in here enough. I can't really zoom in enough so you guys can see. But over top of where the support went, it just printed beautifully. I was not expecting it to behave that well. Sidewalls, silky smooth, no under extrusion parts at all. Here on top, I had a little bit of like pimpling on the top layer as it was pushing it around. Maybe it got caught on some of the other stuff. Just in this section right here, it wasn't too bad. Come on, focus. So yeah, right here was just a little bit too bad. Other than that, everything else came out really smooth. It's strong, but again, it's polycarbonate. I've never printed with it before. I'm glad I got the opportunity to try it out. Sucks for the blue part, but hey, it is what it is. And again, what's left over is probably, you know, just about half a meter is what I have left over of that. All right, and finally here I have APLA Plus, and this was also about a 30 gram uh, segment. I only had about two feet left. I ended up just throwing it away because it was tiny amount. This is also the first one I printed, and this came out fantastic as well. I mean, this was great filament. There was, you know, two little strings here. That was it there. No, no pimpling, no bubbling anywhere. There was no real under extrusion anywhere. Sidewalls were great. Bottom layer, I was a little bit far away here, which I was a little sad to see that, but this was printed on the FT2020 i3. The other three filaments were printed on the FT5, but this came out really good. I mean, on top of the supports, it was good. But again, it's just the bottom layer just a smidgen too far away. 
which was sad to see, but it did have the this extrusion issue right here, or the layer adhesion on these first couple layers as it's fanning out so far. The overhang is pretty extreme there. I do get a little bit of not all the layers adhered right there, which again, it happens, it's okay. But top finish, I mean, it was crisp, clean. It just turned out really nice. So these were all really good filaments. I finally, they sent me this. So this was filaments.ca purge filament. It's a basically a low temp filament. I meant maybe some kind of wax in there as well. And it tells you the instructions here. I was actually having issues on my Monoprice Select Mini and surprise, surprise, this actually worked. It cleaned it out and I got an amazing print after it. And then the printer clogged again. So I'm running this through again, do another print, but I was super surprised at how well it cleaned it out. I tried using some other purge filament I have from, um, might have been All Professional 3D sent it to me a long time ago. I've been using that on and off and that's been working okay, but this actually worked out great. All the instructions are right here and they give you three meters of it, which you only need you know, about a foot or two at most at a time to actually use. So you get quite a few uses out of this. All right, so I have to say, I'm very surprised, number one, to even get this box. Number two, I'm surprised with the quality of the filament of all types. All types printed very, very well for me. I'm very happy about that. Say very one more time. And again, this purge filament was super cool. I had only had another type of filament, which was much higher temperature. This melts at 150. 150 to 300 is what it's good for. Which again, very surprising that you can use this one filament for every type that you have in order to clean out your nozzle. It worked on the Select Mini. It's, I'm gonna have to run it again on there to see what's going on because I'm still getting skipped on the extrusions. I actually had a full out clog here on my last night's print. Yesterday was not my day. So I'll use that again. And yeah, so if you order filaments from filament.ca, I went on their website, they send you 30 grams. I think 30 grams is a little bit light. I think they should do 50 in my opinion, or they should do a length. MakerBox gives you 16.5 meters in the MakerBox samples. This 30 grams was just under that. These were all printed with, I believe, 12% infill. And all the regular settings I do for my maker coin, I just had to lower my infill down, which got me to about 26 grams of filament. I wanted to give a little bit of leeway. But as you can see, 26 grams of the Easy PC only left about half a meter. Of the ABS left me almost three meters. Of the TPU, about a meter and a half meter, and of the APLA plus was maybe about 12 inches, maybe more left. So it's going by the weight, not the length. So you really need to be careful with that because just because you use the same weight doesn't mean it's the same length. So again, let that uh, figure out what you want, but they all printed out great. So just thank you again to filament.ca for sending this. I did not ask for this. They gave them my address almost a year ago and surprise, surprise, this box shows up today. It is October of 2017. I probably emailed them in August or September of 2017. So it's been quite a long time. So thank you guys for sending me this. I hope I get some more to come. I'm gonna check out your PLA here real soon. And again, just wanna say thank you. And that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Filmers.ca for sending me the box. If you guys liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, talk to me in the comments. If you wanna support my channel, we're making progress. Please subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon. That way you know anytime I upload new content. If you want to support me financially, right down here will be a Patreon link. Donate me a dollar more. I greatly appreciate new and current Patreons. Thank you so much for your support. Your help really goes a long way. If you want to support without spending some money, affiliate links down below, things you can buy, do your daily shopping, Amazon affiliate links down there as well. And I also have a UK link coming very soon. So I hope to have that up for you guys. So thanks for watching. Oh, other couple of videos right here. Try those out. Thank you guys for watching. As always, happy printing.